Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on practical angular applications. In this video, we are going to see how we can create a date picker which will have a validation that is nothing but where we have set a minimum and maximum date for our date picker. As you can see in this example, the minimum date is set to 10 and maximum date is set to current date so that the user can select any dates between this minimum and maximum date. You can set any two minimum and maximum dates for your date picker. This is one of the widely used example in our day-to-day -day work. So let's see how we can achieve this one in our Angular application. To begin with, open any editor of your choice. Here you can see I have created a separate component for this example. Currently in this one, I have only one title that is date picker validation. If you can observe this one in browser, only that title appearing here. And I don't have any logic also here. The first step to achieve this, we need to have a date picker. So I will add one date picker here. This is a title of our date picker. To add date picker in Angular, you can make use of HTML's input tag. For this one, you can specify the type as date. So that will give us date picker for our application. If you can view this one in browser, you can see we have a date picker now, but there is no validation or any minimum and maximum dates are set to this date picker now. In Angular, to set minimum and maximum dates for our input, we have two attributes. One is minimum, and another one is max. By using this one, you can assign minimum dates and maximum dates. For that one, let me create two variables in our TypeScript file. One is minimum date. As we know, date picker's date will be stored in the format of year hyphen month hyphen date. So we need to mention year first, that is 2022. Then month here I will mention as 10. And similarly, date will be 1. That's about our minimum date. Similarly, add another variable as maximum date and mention the date as 2022 hyphen 10 hyphen. Mention any date here. For time being, I'm manually adding this maximum date. Later point of time, we'll convert this one to current date dynamically by using the date object. Next, assign these variables in this minimum value and maximum value. Copy these and paste it to these attributes. So now we have defined the minimum date and maximum date. Let's save both the files and go back to browser. And if you can notice our date picker, current month is already defined as 10 and year is defined at 2022. That is because we have defined the minimum and maximum dates current month as 10 and year is 2022. As it is common, it is predefined here. When you click on date picker, you can observe the minimum date which we have mentioned in the TypeScript file that is being set here. Similarly, maximum date which we have mentioned that's also set here. This is one of the common scenario where you need to set minimum and maximum date for your date picker based on multiple scenarios. There will be a real time scenario where you need to restrict maximum date to current date so that users can select only past dates in our application. In that case, you can make use of date object and modify that one little bit and finally append that one to this maximum value. If you don't know how we can fetch current date from dates object, you can refer one of my video in which I have clearly explained how we can fetch current date and set to date picker. I have given the link for that video in description as well. You can follow that one. By assuming you know how to fetch current date, let me go to next step. I'll go to TypeScript file. Here I will directly write the code to fetch the current date. This is the code which we need to get the current date. You can refer my video where I have clearly explained how we can fetch the current date. Just to show it to you before we append this one to our date picker, I have printed this one in console window. So let's save this file and go back to browser. Here inspect the page. 
here you can observe current date is being displayed here so the final step what we need to do is we need to attach this current date to our date picker's maximum date as it's currently being shown as 25 as you know currently we have defined the maximum date manually here so let's override this one by using this dot maximum date and the current date which we are storing is in today's date so let's copy that one and attach this one to maximum date so that's it what we need to do to attach current date to maximum date so let's save this file and go back to browser now if you click on date picker you can observe maximum date is set to current date that is today's date the minimum date which we have already set up that is first of this month so these are the simple steps which we need to follow to put a validation to date picker in angular application that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this video if you like this please click on like button share it to others and subscribe to my channel